What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phase 6, your source for music, business, motivation, and support. It's your boy, Sir Love. It's another episode of What You See Above Me, Ask Sir Love. And on this channel, on this particular series, what I do is I answer questions that you've submitted to me. This is a question that was submitted. If you have a question you'd like me to speak to, please pop it in the chat Let's get or in the uh, comments. Let's get to it. So we got this, uh, we, we got this message from Banger. Banger says, what happens if you somehow gain ownership of the composition copyright, right? Whether it's by work for hire or a publishing agreement of an already of an already record, I guess already recorded, a record that is already registered in a PRO. How does the 50% publishing share get transferred under your ownership so that you can now collect the publishing rights? Great question. Great god, god darn. Great. Great question. All right, so let's talk about it. So basically what we're saying here is that you acquired somebody else's rights, right? Somebody owned rights and you did an agreement or you had them in a contract or whatever and now you've acquired their rights, right? Now there is a manual way to do this yourself, 100%. I'm gonna tell you what I've done because I haven't done transfers manually. I did my transfers by calling up the, calling up the office, right? I live in Atlanta, there's a BMI office here, there's an ASCAB office here. If you're in New York, there's one. If you're in LA, one. there's one in Texas, I think, Nashville, like you, there's different places where you can actually just go to the office, talk to somebody and they'll actually help you. Right. But for me, make a phone call, talk to somebody. Uh, they'll walk you through it. Sometimes they actually aid you at that time period. I had a great relationship with, with the reps at ASCAP and they just kind of handled it for me. I needed to present, um, legal information, ownership of the record contracts, this, that, and the third, right. Um, there's a little process that you go through, but they can handle it. Um, uh, most likely, however, if you're not 100% independent, you have some type of publishing company that you're working with. So you have a publishing administration company. You call the pub administration company and they do this for you. You can hire a publishing administration company. I have a whole video on different types of publishing deals and a publishing administration company is a great deal to do. You basically give somebody a percentage of the revenue from the catalog that you have in exchange for them doing all of this type of paperwork, keeping copyrights uh, up to date, keeping like there's a lot of paperwork associated with uh, running a publishing company. Just because you own publishing doesn't mean you're managing it well. If you can give a company a percentage to make it happen for you, then you have co-pub deals, you have full publishing deals, you have um, you have all sorts of different opportunities in which you can relinquish publishing to another entity. All right. In those scenarios, normally a part of that deal is that they're going to handle all of this type of heavy lifting so you can focus on whatever task. If you're a production company, you're going to focus on making music. If you're a label, you're focused on signing and marketing artists. If you are an artist, you're focused on making music and getting it out there into the marketplace and making new fans. You don't, you're not necessarily focused on the publishing side, the licensing side, and all the things associated with managing that. So you hire a third party. So to answer your question, bangers, you should probably work with a publishing company to make this happen. Publishing administration companies are extremely helpful for this type of stuff. They can actually go get money that you left on the table and forgot about. Um, and if not, call your local rep, see what type of help they can give you. Uh, these you know, PROs do workshops and all sorts of things to help artists solve these challenges. Hope that was helpful. You know, I, I don't know everything. This is a great question, Banger, an amazing question. Thank you for asking it. Um, and, and it came off the video, um, is it stealing, acquiring publishing, right? The whole video was teaching people how to acquire publishing without being a creative, right? And that's viable. You don't have to be an artist to make money off of publishing. Publishing is a great way to earn passive income. Go out there and there are artists that are struggling, that need cash, that are willing to sell their publishing uh, for some money. Give them some money if you believe in the publishing. And over time, you've collected assets. It's an asset. It's no different than owning property or owning stocks or owning any or owning art or anything of that nature. If the artist is truly a viable artist, then it's going to continue to generate money. That's the reason why major producers turn around and sell their catalogs, right? They'll sell their catalogs for hundreds of millions of dollars. Who's spending hundreds of millions of dollars on a catalog? Someone that knows the catalog is going to pay more than the hundreds of millions that they're spending. I think Dr. Dre sold here for sold his for 200 million plus or something like that. Well, the person that bought it for 200 million isn't stupid. They bought it because they know it's going to be worth more 
over time. You don't have to do two hundred million dollar deals. There are un, there are upcoming artists right now that'll sell their publishing for five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, two thousand dollars because they need the money for whatever reason. And if that's the decision that they make, and that's the business that you're in, buying publishing and licensing records and doing this and that and the third, by all means, get you a publishing administration company to uh, handle some of the heavy lifting. Get out there, sell yourself, and make it happen. Right. I don't know everything, but I know a lot about a little, a little bit about a lot. I'm always trying to give you everything I got right here on phase six. You've been learning. I'm teaching. You're learning. Pay your tuition, man. Give me a thank you. Send me a thank you. Uh, go ahead over there to the to the website. Check out what I have for you. You can download the business. A lot of great and exciting information designed to help you win in the music industry. I hope this was helpful. Sir Love, I'm out.